royal family has made changes to its website as the mourning period for Prince Philip ends. A two-week period of mourning for the monarchy and their households officially ended on Friday. The Duke of Edinburgh passed away peacefully at Windsor Castle on April 9. The 99-year-old was buried last Saturday during an emotional service at St. George's Chapel. Members of the royal family entered a 14-day period of mourning from April 9 and scaled back official public duties. The UK observed a period of national mourning until after the Duke's funeral on April 17 with flags flown at half-mask. Shortly after Buckingham Palace announced the death of Prince Philip, staff made major changes to the websites and social media accounts of the royal family. The official website of the royal family changed its background to the color black along with a picture of a smiling Prince Philip. This was accompanied by the official written statement confirming the death of the Queen's beloved husband of 73 years. The site has since reverted back to a picture of the Queen, 95, wearing a burgundy hat and smiling into the distance. Details about Prince Philip's death have also been moved down the Royal website's homepage. During the period of mourning the royal family's Twitter and Instagram account had also changed its profile to the Royal Coat of Arms of the UK. While social media sites used by Prince William and Kate had also swapped out a family photo for a black and white version of the couple's monogram. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge had previously used a smiling photo of themselves with their three children as they took part in the Clap for Carers campaign outside their Anmer Hall residence in Norfolk. Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, also switched out a happy picture of the couple to the Prince of Wallace feathers in black. Despite grieving, the Queen has carried out a number of in-person engagements, as have other members of her family. Four days after the Duke's death, the Queen formally welcomed her new Lord Chamberlain Baron Parker to his post during a ceremony in Windsor. On Wednesday, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge joined air cadets based in London in honouring Prince Philip's memory, during their first joint public event since his death. And the Duke of Edinburgh's only daughter, the Princess Royal, opened a garden of commemoration and remembrance at the Gloucestershire Royal Hospital. The Queen celebrated her 95th birthday on Wednesday and issued a message of thanks to people around the world for all the tributes to her late husband. The Queen said, While as a family we are in a period of great sadness, it has been a comfort to us all to see and to hear the tributes paid to my husband, from those within the United Kingdom, the Commonwealth and around the world.